If you are a fan of flora and fauna or simply want to incorporate it as a trend during your many wedding functions, listen in. Now let's focus on incorporating flowers in your decor. We are talking about chandeliers, canopies and archways. 5 a.m. in the morning, you need to get some fresh flowers for the Mandy setup and it's probably the best time for getting it. Come on. In addition to the Mandy arrangement which was there, we did plan a surprise, like me and Mohini planned a surprise for Aneha. It was a jeweler, which is like uh, just for her. I went to the flower market, arranged all the flowers which were supposed to be there, obviously because you cannot put stale flowers on your sister's Mandy. A lot of varieties are there in flowers. You, you cannot just pick one or the other. You have to pick some selective ones only. It took me about an hour or something just to get the flowers. So that's what I did. I got a guy just to just to make the flower arrangements on the menu. Aqua happens to be the bride's mother's favorite color. So even though aqua is not a very Indian color, um, the brief for this function was that we had to incorporate subtle Rajasthani or Indian elements. And since Rajasthan is known for its blue pottery, which is why you see all of this happening here. Um, so which is why we put a composition together of blue pottery plates. You'll see some blue pottery accents in other places also. The strings, which are actually Nara's drawstrings from pajamas, they've just been dyed into our palette colors. And even the flowers review that we've used are mostly locally cultivated, except gypsophilias, which we've had to bring in from outside, of course. This tree is obviously many years old, as we can tell. It's over 50 years old. And we decided to use this as a statement piece and install our mandap on it. So it's about over 200 kgs of flowers that are going to hang, perhaps even more than that. The bride's favorite flower is Rajni Gandha. So the entire mandap is going to be made of tube roses and it's going to smell heavenly. These tube rose things, they're going to end with an assortment of different sizes of bells. Uh, and the accent color that we're using on a base of white is a deep, rich maroon. And it's really important in in Rajasthan as a colour. Fuluga Gehna is a pre-wedding ceremony amongst the Kashmiris and is now being adopted by several other communities where the brides are opting to wear jewellery made of flowers. which should be having his and her pictures and plus hang those cards and the thing of wishes of all the guests who are coming to the function. I went early in the morning to get the printout done for, for hanging the pictures on the tree and then I sent another guy to get the prints done, uh, wishes card prints done, he got me that. Yesterday itself, I called up the flower vendor because it's a wedding season. I was very scared that I would get it or not. But luckily, I got the vendor. I got the vendor. I got the vendor. I got the vendor. Then he got the things. And then we fit the tree. Ko fit kiya. Okay, so almost it's done. And I hope that I will get the vendor. I hope you guys are pretty. I hope you guys are also liking it. Just have a look to it. If minimal wedding decor is on the agenda, 
don't worry, the best way to show your love for flowers is your wardrobe. That it's a wrap on this edition of Shadi Specialists. For more, you can comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.